my well-beloved commons. I come here today to speak with you, to set forth my mind and the secrets of my heart. There should be perfect love and concord in this realm. But instead, there is discord and dissension in every place. What love and charity is there amongst the clergy? When one calls the other heretic and anabaptist, and the other calls him papist and hypocrite. Are these tokens of charity amongst you? Are these the signs of fraternal love? The people look for light, and you bring them darkness. And as for the laity, you are not clean of malice and envy, for you slander and rebuke priests and bishops. You take it upon yourself to judge the clergy by the sole light of your fantastical opinions and vain expositions. Although you are permitted to read Holy Scripture, you must understand that it is under license and only to inform your conscience, not to dispute and make Scripture. I gave you the Bible in your own tongue, but I am sorry to see that that most precious Jew, the Word of God, has been disputed, rhymed, sung, and jangled in every alehouse and every tavern in this realm. I, whom God has appointed his vicar here, will see these divisions extinct and those enormities corrected, or God shall account me an unprofitable servant.